Good morning. Happy Sunday, crafters. Yay, it's finally Sunday. My favorite day of the week. <laughs> I am just finding my video. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous weekend. Um, my name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts. Uh, I go live every Sunday for Coffee and a Card where I bring you three projects using Stampin' Up! product. You are gonna love what I'm showing you today because I'm going to show you mini catalog products. So uh, I goes live on August 4th, but I cannot wait any longer. I'm like, okay, there's a week. I can, I can, I can do this. <laughs> I'm excited for this one, you guys. This is the poinsettia card and it's, oh, it's fun. It's full of fun dies. I didn't really tap into the stamp set much. I, I trust me. I have a lot more fun ideas with this. I mostly use the dies to make this pretty flower, but the sentiment, may magic and wonder bloom this holiday? Like, oh, perfect. Or um, this Merry Christmas. So this looks a lot smaller than it really is. Look how big that Merry Christmas is. It's huge. So it's very deceiving. They look super tiny on the front of the case, but they're huge in the stamp, in the actual stamp. So that was very, ha I was very happy to see that. But um, I used this beautiful sentiment. But you guys, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to play more with this. So I do want to show you though, one of the things that I really love about this suite is this beautiful plush poinsettia specialty paper. And it's got lots of fun designs and it's basically um, vellum, but it has plush um, detail to it. So we've got scripty scroll, we've got poinsettias, we've got some leaves. I think that's it. And I wanted to show you guys something because I discovered it last night. The dies in this set, so this die right here, cuts out the vellum poinsettia. So I just kind of cut around, cut it out. It cuts out all of these poinsettias. You have a ton of poinsettias in one page that you can cut out and you can have these pretty vellum pieces and you can back them with white, you can back them with red, you can do all kinds of fun colors. So I was very excited to see the Stampin' Up! did that. Thank you Stampin' Up! for coordinating that way. That was awesome, awesome. Okay, so what do we need to make this gorgeous beauty? The first thing we're gonna do is cut all the petals out. That's the fun part, cutting all the petals out. So what we're gonna do, and can somebody keep an eye on my dice <laughs> so I don't lose them? So there's an outside piece that cuts the outside of the, of the um, poinsettia, but there's also this inside piece that gives detail and it does an impression of the leaves. So when we cut these out, we're going to cut out both so that we get an impression and an outline cut. I have this little tiny center one. And then we have this medium one here. I think maybe I can fit them all on this one piece. Now the fussy part is, is that the center impression fits inside of the little cutout specifically. Like you can't rotate it and it won't cut out that way. So like you have to match it up. So keeping it matched is important <laughs> because it's a pain to try and find where it goes later. Okay. Oh, this is a perfect time for me to tell you guys about, <laughs> about this. This is the third magnetic bowl that I have been given. I have been given this magnetic bowl three times because <laughs> obviously people know that I have a uh, issue with losing dies. So this magnetic magnetic bowl is perfect for these tiny little dies um, that you know will get lost. I can just throw them in here and then deal with them after my live. But then, but then Susan Rasmussen went as far as saying, no, this girl needs more help than that. So she gave me a tool and it's this wand and it has a magnetic end and it picks up dies. <laughs> so if I lose it, I can just drag this along the floor and find my die. Um, and then she also gave me a mirror. So if I, you know, drop something under my desk, I can <laughs> put my little mirror. So thank you to Susan and Terry Dalton and Eileen Till all for 
<laughs> being more organized than me and giving me the tools that I should actually be using. So I'm putting them up on my desk so that they'll be available to me as I need them. <laughs> ah, you know, I'm a slow learner, okay? I'm slow. I have to learn the hard way. Okay, so now let's put our poinsettias up here. Get them all situated. Terry gave us, Terry Dalton gave us all one as a gift, which was a great team gift at our, at an on stage a few years ago. And then Eileen gave me one. She found them and gave me one. Mm, it was probably a year before that. <laughs> I can get a bowl in a bigger size, Kathy? I did not know that. I'm gonna have to go do some research because yeah, I need like a big, like a big, how about my entire desk just be magnetic and I can just throw my dies everywhere? I didn't think I had a problem, but I've been given three of these, so I clearly have a problem. <laughs> okay. So we have gone ahead and cut out the flowers. I'm just gonna throw these in my bowl. <laughs> They're all going in my bowl. I'm just, everything's going in the bowl. If you can't find it, it's in the bowl. All right, oh, this is weird. It didn't cut all the way. That one's strange. I must not have gone all the way through. Let me cut this again. Yes, Harbor Freight. I think that's the company that you get those magnetic bowls from. Okay, so now we're gonna cut out some leaves in the same manner. So I have my garden green cardstock and there's two leaf dies. So thank you Stampin' Up for making two. That makes our lives a lot easier, right? I like it when they do that, make a pair. And I don't know if these are the same size or not, but I don't really care because just having two leave dies to run through at once is great. And keeping them straight, because the magnets pull. I can't wait for the new die cutting and embossing machine because we won't have this problem anymore. We won't have the magnets jumping. Okay, so. Come here, those are going in the bowl. All right, so now I have my leaves. One thing, one more thing we gotta cut, we're gonna cut the berries. So there's two berry dies, I'll show you guys. There's two berry dies, one that cuts out the detailed berry and then one that cuts out the stamped berries that you type, or that you type, that you stamp. Okay, so one more. Am I in the denial stage? <laughs> Not anymore. I, I've, I got it now, Tammy. I, I got the hint. I'm bad. I'm bad. I got it. <laughs> okay, look. Last die going in the bowl. <laughs> Here's my poinsettia hot mess here. Oh, geez. I know. I'm crazy. I don't know why you guys watch me. Okay, so here. <laughs> I'm grateful you do, but I don't know why. All right, so here are the pieces for the card that we need. Now let's talk about the this number one gorgeous ribbon and number two, these beaded pearls. I love them so much. They're gorgeous, beautiful, and they make great centers for your poinsettia. Look at that. Okay, so the base of my card is real red cardstock, and then I have a piece of Whisper White that's gonna be our matted piece. Now this is that new beautiful poinsettia paper. There's a lot of designer series paper in here that I love. I love the look at the pine cones and the wood and the berries, lots of fun, fun colors and pieces. So I am using, oh, look at the green. Love that, so pretty. So what I'm using is a piece of this holly berry type I don't know if it's holly berries, but berries. And I'm going to actually cut this 
So this piece is four by five and a quarter and I'm gonna cut it at three inches on the short side. So I'm just gonna cut an inch right here. And the reason that I'm gonna do that is because I feel like this pattern is very bold. So I want some of it in there, but not a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I flipped over one side. So I have the pretty berries on one side and then I have kind of more of a calmer green on the other. So it's not taking over the card, but I still get to enjoy it. So now what I'm gonna do is glue this onto my piece of Whisper White. So it's my matted piece. So we're gonna just glue this down. And then we're gonna glue this down next to it on the other side. I like that because now I get a, a taste of both sides of the paper. Okay. And then I took a piece of real red and I cut it to a quarter inch by five and three eighths so that I have a little band that kind of separates them because <clears throat> it looks kind of funny like that. And the ribbon is too sheer. You can see the lines through it. So I just took a piece of real red cardstock, put some liquid glue on it and glued it down across the line there. Okay, and now I can glue this down to my card base. And then we'll build, we'll build our little poinsettia. Now, do you guys think that I should shade my poinsettia? My, should I, should I um, sponge the edges? Or should I leave it white, stark, stark white? What do you think? Should I leave it stark white like this or should I sponge it? And if I sponge it, what color should I sponge it in? Should I sponge it in like pink, tan? What do you think? This tape that I'm using is uh, Fast Fuse. Um, so what do you guys think? Sponging on the edges or no sponging? Tammy says, heck yes to shading. Tammy, what color should I use? Should I use a red? Should I give it a red tint? Should I give it petal pink? Okay, petal pink's a good one. Everyone says sponge. Let's do, let's try petal pink. Janie says crumb cake. Let's try petal pink. I think that's a good one to try. It'll give it a little pink tint to it. Kim says stark white. So we have the stark white, so let's try the sponging and see what we think. I'm gonna find a sponge dauber that has pink on it already and make sure that there's no color. And all right, let's sponge this up and see what we get. Ooh. I love sponge daubers. They make for great little sponging. Everyone says pink, some say red, red and pink. We're gonna try petal pink sponging on this poinsettia and see what we think. I think crumb cake would look good too. Um, so let's try. So I don't know if I'm making this too pink. I probably am. I mean, I'm making it really pink. I'll stop putting it in the ink. And then Janie suggested I make a poinsettia out of red velvet, which I think would make a really pretty poinsettia. It does come to life. It does give it depth and layer. That is true. You're right. All right, so there's our pink poinsettia. Let's go ahead and glue it together. I just used liquid glue between the layers. You can also pop it up on dimensionals or use glue dots. Glue dots will be quick and easy. There's no drying time with glue dots. You can also curl up the petals if you want. Well, that was really stupid. <laughs> Maybe I need more coffee. <laughs> you guys are like, no, don't take more coffee. All right, let's put our little beaded pearls in the center. 
Oh, so pretty. Give that a second to dry and then we'll put our, our little leaves on the back of the poinsettia and our little stem of berries. So the berries I put on the side and then I put my leaves like so. Oh, my beads are coming off. Okay, and then we're going to put dimensionals on the back. It can never be too pink. Okay. Okay. So we can see it now in two different tones. I like that. That's going to be fun. Let's move this down a little bit. Oh, we got to do the ribbon. You guys almost let me forget the ribbon. So this sheer real red ribbon, I love it. This is going to be a new favorite of mine. We're going to put this on the back of our ribbon here like so. Okay. And then we're going to stick this down right about here. Cute. Okay, so there's the pink poinsettia versus the white, stark white poinsettia. You guys can tell me which one you like better. And while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and emboss. Janie was shouting, ribbon, ribbon. I was, I'm going to emboss the sentiment on this stitched scallop rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So I'm going to take this sentiment and we are going to heat emboss it. So what we need to do first is take our embossing buddy, pass it over there so it doesn't, the powder doesn't stick to anything we don't want it to. Ink up the sentiment. Stamp it. Okay, now we'll take our white embossed powder. Like so. What is that? Seeing both. Give the pink gives definition. I'm seeing white. Okay, we have kind of a all across the board different opinions, which I think is great because that means that it's not all or one. Everybody has their opinion and it's all different. Oh, I'm gonna keep this heat, I'm gonna keep this silicone mat underneath to protect my Oh, and I forgot to mention this, but if anybody doesn't have a demonstrator already and they would like a catalog from me, please let me know. I'd be happy to send you a catalog at no charge because I want you to have all this happy goodness in your hands uh, for the catalog launch um, on the 4th. And also, if your wish list is extremely long, just like mine is, you guys will definitely want to take part in the... Um, starter kit because you get the $125 in product for only $99 and free shipping. And then you get a discount of 20% off all of your future orders. So definitely the way to go if your list is really long. So there is our second card. I hope you like the poinsettias. If you want one of them, make sure you place your $35 order with me this week and I'll send you one with your make and takes. You'll get the beautiful poinsettia card and you'll get the beautiful wreath card and a fun little box. Oh, you guys, I am so excited for this new catalog. I hope you'll partake in our share, in the share that I'm doing. That way you can get all your, your hands on all the beautiful new product. Hopefully you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And thank you so much for watching again with me. You guys have a fabulous week. We'll see you next week, okay?
Yay. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.